How you doing guys? It's Hazzy's Mem here. Back for day two with a new video. It's incredibly racist. It's super racist. I don't know what that was. I apologize. I'm very tired. I've had a bit of a late and playing Skyrim all night, bro. Like a true gamer. A real gamer. I'm a pro gamer. And what do gamers do? Masturbate? They vote for game stuff. So guess what I'm here to do? Full transparency. I'm just copying every other streamer and YouTuber I've seen do this. I just think it's always nice to see people's opinions on what they do. A quick disclaimer, I am currently not at home. I am sort of in a new country. I'm living a new life. I've gone incognito. The FBI were following me and, well, let's just put it like this, mate. I've had to go undercover. I'm living in a new ground, a new country, a new city, a new life. Things got tough for me back home. The FBI, the government, they were following me. They were chasing me. They were chasing me like I was a rabbit and they were foxes, you know, guns all the time. I had to move cities, move houses, change my name, shave my head, dye my pubes a different colour. It's tough life, but I've managed to find a new place to live. A new place I can call home. Full transparency, I have not actually played Spider-Man 2, which is heartbreaking for me. I have seen so many spoilers, and I basically know the whole game, even though I've not been looking, because there's dickheads online ruining it for me. So, full transparency, I will be ignoring Marvel Spider-Man 2. I have heard it's a good game, but I heard it plays it safe anyway, so I'm not too sure it would affect my game of the year, because my game of the year is a no non-contestant for me. I, I absolutely love this game. So, we'll go through them anyway. So, Alan Wake 2, I've not actually finished it yet, because, like I said, I'm moving, I'm hiding from the government. I've got to move houses every week, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really, really enjoying it so far. Really fun game. Uh, however, it's not going to be my number one. Baldur's Gate, I can't lie, it's not really my favourite game. It's not a game for me, I'll be honest. I don't like them sort of RPG type games where you, you know, you take your time fucking attacking people. That's just not me. My brain's too hyperactive. ADHD for shit like that. Spider-Man, we've already touched. Resident Evil 4, that was the shit for me. I played the original Resident Evil 4 about six years ago on Game Pass and I hated it because it was like, oh, this is so old, I don't know what's going on, it's too hard, blah, 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 blah. Well, boys, girls, my opinions have changed. Resident Evil 4 is an unreal experience and one I actually played back to back. I played it through completely and then I went through it again because I was a pro on the hardest difficulty. I love this game. This cast, Leon S. Kennedy is my favourite Resident Evil character ever. I think he's so cool. The boss fights are incredible the two trolls uh the harpooning you know there's so many memorable stuff even the little ones where you know you have to jump down and get that lever and then you get attacked by like 10 different suits of armor these are all memorable bosses that i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed playing against uh super mario bros wonder i'm not 12 so i don't play mario now oh i'm kidding i will play super mario bros on my nintendo switch i'm just gonna probably wait i struggle to pay full price for a mario game considering what you get uh i'm just a bit tight a bit funny with money because of you know just life. Le Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I've not finished this, but I really enjoy it, but it's not my game of the year. That's the best way I'd sum it up. I'm really enjoying it. I think what they did was right and took it in the right direction, and maybe when I complete it, I'll change my mind, but I struggle. F Mate, Resident Evil 4 is an unreal experience, and I truly have had so much fun playing that. It's made me start playing Resident Evil 5. I'm going to get original Resident Evil 4 on my Nintendo Switch when it's on discount again, just to experience it and see what the differences are. That's how much I loved Resident Evil 4. I played Resident Evil 7, 8, Resident Evil 2 and 3. And Resident Evil 4 is the best one. I, I love it. Everything from Ashley, the villains, you know, it's an incredible experience. And if you've not played Resident Evil 4, you need to sort your life out even more than me. Game of the year, Resident Evil 4. Clap, clap them cheeks, baby. <laughs> So best game direction. Now this is a difficult one for me. Uh, I would defo go Alan Wake 2 from what I've played again. Look, I know it's, it's stupid for me to do this video because I've not actually finished Alan Wake. Baldur's Gate one for me. But you know, everyone's got to have an opinion, haven't they? All right. You can't just cast someone aside because they've missed a few games, bro. I've been busy. I've had to flee the country. Give me a bit of peace and quiet, all right? Just because I get letters telling me they're going to blow me up and they're coming for me doesn't mean I need it from you guys in the comments as well. Had to go undercover and I've I've had to escape and also you know doing this opens me up to a lot of criticism so please be really nice please i beg you oh oh this is a tough one Final Fantasy, I don't play that shit. I'm going to have to go Cyberpunk. So Phantom Lib Liberty for me is Cyberpunk 2077 and Phantom Liberty, which I know it doesn't say, but that whole game and Phantom Liberty was brilliant, I have to admit. I really enjoyed it, the whole president shit and what's it called, Idris Elba was cool. But they've made it how the game should have been. Cyberpunk should be game of the year. You know, they fucked up. Some idiot at the top told them to release it uncooked and they paid the price. It's a game of the year contender for me now. If you've not played 
played Cyberpunk, you need to get into that shit. That's hard core bro uh liza p uh, i played it for 12 minutes realized how bad i was and refunded it what a bitch how tragic do i have to be hi-fi rush i really actually have played that but i've not bought it myself so i'm not playing it too much i think we're definitely gonna go legend of zelda for that one actually because i just love the art style i love you know diving down from the top of the um rocks and shit and it just looks beautiful bro it looks very thick music it's got to be zelda done it zelda's always got absolutely sexual music tickles your balls in the most friendliest of ways audio design oh bro bro not even a resident evil's audio makes you feel so uncomfortable it's unbelievable oh best performance i'm gonna go with star wars jedi survivor in i think that game was pretty fun i have to admit i think i played it on release there was a lot of problems with it however i think the game is really really fun and i love cameron monaghan i love him in gotham and i love him in this I think the way you portrays this Jedi, where by the end of it you're a little confused, you're a bit more aggressive in, you know, maybe dabbling in the dark side of the Force. I think he d portrays that fantastically. Well done, Cameron. You, I'm sure you're so satisfied. This very minor person on the internet voted for you. But yeah, take that, bro. Take that. Uh, I don't know what this means. Pushing the medium forward. Well, Spider-Man 2 is the same map, so it's defo not that. Uh, I do... I've not played any of the other ones. I've not played Mortal Kombat. I said I'm, I'm fleeing the country, guys. Give me a fucking break uh games for impact you know i kind of thought i was a really cool gamer but i have no idea what any of these are best ongoing outstanding venom ongoing content that involves player experience over time ah oh, ah oh. Look, I have to give some respect to Fortnite here. I think they are still going and going quite well. I, I did even jump in, embarrassingly enough to admit, to play the old map again, just to see what it was, and I had a blast. But it's got to be Cyberpunk. Get best community support? Oh, bro, that's got to be No Man's oh. Either No Man's Sky or Cyberpunk. I've not played No Man's Sky in about three years, to be honest, so I, I might struggle to give it there. But I just see what they're doing. I see the trailers, and it just looks like they're a great experience. For me, none of my friends play uh, No Man's Sky. None of my friends play no man's sky so I, I can't play you know i'm not gonna play on my own so we'll go we'll go cyberpunk i want cyberpunks to win something they deserve it oh dave the diver i'm loving this game i'm playing it on my switch it, it's really really enjoyable <laughs> it's such a weird game you go like fishing and like have a restaurant and stuff it's class it's just a game you can sink an hour or two into and just sort of pass out best debut indie game fortunately i've not paid paid pl pl played uh, i don't play mobile games because i'm not a fetus however yeah i know none of them 31 votes we're on 10 uh i've not played vr i'm fleeing the country best action game oh Dead Island. I enjoy Dead Island for what it is. It's not brilliant, but it's a fun hack and slash with brilliant gore and a pretty poor story. Best action. I'm, I'm a Resident Evil 4 fanboy, bro. I, I am. I understand Resident Evil now. I get it. Best RPG. Hmm. Starfield, I have to admit, I've not been able to sink many hours into it. It was okay when I played it, but I'm I'm not going to vote for it. Best sports. Um, I like the F1 game. I'm going to vote for that. FIFA for me is the same game or EAFC these days. The same game always. I I refuse. Best adaptation of a TV show. Bro, I'm a big Last of Us fan. We literally made a video on it yesterday. I thought the TV show was pretty decent. Joel was great. Ellie, I'm not 100% sold on the actor yet. I think she's decent, but I just, I don't think she's done enough for me to go, yeah, this is going to be good. Uh, I'm looking forward to Star Wars Outlaws. That'll be cool. Content creator of the year. Fucking has his mem. Esports game. Uh, I've been playing Counter-Strike forever. Uh, I've recently got into it again. Just Counter-Strike 2. Fanatic. Always got to be fanatic esports coach fucking hell there's an award for everything these days esports event i i don't watch it uh, enough you've reached the edge i think that means we're done thank god you said there were a few more but i think the website's just exploded or something december 7th at the cock theater in los angeles be there or be square because you're not around i will be there suit tie undercover baseball cap on prosthetic wig enhanced boob job and a Brazilian butt lift, just so I look like a female. Come say hi. Let me know what you guys thought of my opinions. Please be mean and horrible, or be really nice. It would be kind. Thank you anyway. I just thought I'd do this video a bit weird, but whatevs.